today's video guys we are back working on our E36 project. You might have not seen the project before but we bought a 2.8 BMW E36 last year, and we've been working on it slowly to take it to a drift day. Are we ever gonna take it to a drift day at this stage? So, so far we have put an M3 LSD into it, we put a Cooler Works short shifter into it, and BC Racing coilovers. And last time we stripped all the interior out. Today though, we're getting ready to take the car down to Motorsport Royal Cages here in Northern Ireland. We've teamed up with those guys who are going to build us a completely custom cage for the car, which I'm pretty excited about because I know absolutely nothing about roll cages. I know that we want to have it powder coated in a really bright color. I'm not completely sure what color yet. I know that whatever we do with it, we probably want to put it in ourselves. So that means it's probably gonna be a bolting cage, but we're gonna go drop it down to Wayne today and he's gonna give us a bit of advice and inform us about what we don't know about roll cages. Do you know anything about roll cages? Uh, no, I'd like a lot of axes and others. X go give it to you. Uh, on the motorway here, and I've just realized that my bonnet is open. I can see it bouncing up and down. Should I do something about that or? So, whatever, genius. Take the uh, interior out of this. This is the bonnet latch. Yeah, it still works a wee bit, James. I actually thought that was going to fly up. Nasty. That was the most gentle put down ever, like. <laughs> I would have slammed it. I'm gonna get the excuses in here really quick, right? Yeah. This thing needs a clutch. Right. Really badly needs a clutch. And uh, if the police were watching, I wasn't trying to do a donut at all, but I may have done that. <laughs> nice. The clutch just completely disappeared, like, and- uh, It just wasn't there. Just da -da 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 and hit the curb, so. You can fix that, right? I think it's uh, steer uh, there's a problem that's not quite backwards, I think it's behind the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. <laughs> this is Wayne. Wayne, at, you know what's funny? Every time I type this in, I type Mr. Cages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's MRC, Motorsport Roll Cages. MRC, sorry. Uh, yeah, Mr. 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 Roll yeah. Cages. So you're going to look after us here with uh, hopefully something. Let's show you what we've done so far. Maybe sure. you'll just laugh at our absolute attempt at taking this into your well, we didn't know what to take out and what not to take out. Driver. <laughs> Roof liner is still in it. As soon as you, you strip a car out, what you're going to be dealing with then is condensation. And if you're going to be sitting in traffic, being dripped on, that's not a good time, right? You know, so, gotcha. so we have the main hoop along Works here. Works really well then. Yeah, main hoop along here. The rear stays go down and land towards the top of the, of the wheel arch. Uh, you're going to have a nice straight cross in the back and your harness bar across to the bottom of those and that just works out. I'm excited. Yeah, this sounds looks great. Sick. I'm really excited about this, to be honest. We've just left Wayne, who is going to take the 36 and turn it into a race car, which I'm pretty happy about. I'm looking forward to it. 66, 66, Are you haunted by the regrets of yesterday? Well, don't regret these deals. Here at ILB Drivers Club, we have t-shirts, jackets, air fresheners, socks, wow. and lanyards. Wow. All right, so we are back at MR Cages. Uh, James isn't here today, so it's just me by myself and Lee, of course. Lee, show yourself. Hello. Wayne texted me to say that they've made some good progress in the car, so we've just come down to have a look to see how they're getting on. And I'm nervous. I'm, I'm, should I be nervous, Wayne? No. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they've done, so uh, we'll have a look. What about the dashboard like? I wouldn't even know where to begin to do that to the dashboard. No, that looks good. That looks really good. This is beyond me on every level, to be honest with you. When did you start this? 
Sunday. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was probably like, you know, like just by the attack side. Just as soon as you get into you start one, you, you, you crack on. Yeah, we get, we get through it quickly, that's for, that's for sure. We've done a, a lot of BMWs. E36s haven't been a stable really a few years now because uh, they're too nice for guys to want to weld cages into them, stuff like that, you know what I mean? So you've done welded plates in basically into the shell, but then obviously the it can be removed. In any bolt-in cage, basically have reinforcement plates welded in. The theory is that, that the bolt through just the car body itself could potentially tear. If that happens, you're having a bad day already. You know what I mean? So it's just, we always aim to, uh, to follow the motorsport guidelines and that, and that obviously is a weld-in plates. So what's left, you've obviously got the main, this is the main shell obviously, and then now you do the doors and, and then the crossbar really. The main sections of any cage are the roll hoop stays, the A pillar bars, the screen top bar that I'm working on just now, and what we're looking at in the back here is the X brace. That's just all tacked together in there, and we finish up the actual welds on the jig on the on the table. And um, Peter has already been um, marking up your X door bars. I this. forgot the bloody harnesses. <laughs> <laughs> you need a mount, right? You yeah. Yeah, you gotta bring them. This is why we need James. Sure. James reminds me, James would bring it. I, I would completely forget yeah. he would bring it, so. The plan is Wayne and the lads are finishing it here, and then you're gonna leave it in, obviously so then we can just drive home. Mm -hmm. We're then gonna take it out, and then get it all powder coated, yep. and then we're gonna put it back in, which should be fun. Well, you've already done the procedure in reverse. Yeah. So theoretically, you should know what you're at, right? So while you're here, you may actually see Peter putting together your door bars. That'd be pretty good, like. days later okay so it's the next day we're here to pick the car up james is here hello it's actually not the next day it's like oh, three days i don't know when we were here so three days later uh here to get the car james is here let's have a look the top of this tire is full of air and the bottom of it not so much I didn't do that. It's not very much air in it. Oh, is it not? Oh, there isn't. Do you have a compressor by any chance? Yeah, I turned it on. I turned it on. Just whatever you said to lady. <laughs> that seat, whenever Stuart is stripping it, he is in love with that USB stick. Oh, the USB stick on rail? <laughs> yeah. That came with the car. <laughs> that came with the car, like, it's good. Like in his, in his mid boys. Oh, that's a bang. He's Scottish. Oh, that's, that's a banger. He had the tunes <laughs> pumping out there whenever he stripping it. The out. best thing about that car. Did he like the car then, did he? Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll do him good justice here and uh, tidy it up nicely. Hello, welcome to the vlog. We're like at the end of the vlog. Oh, right, sorry. Welcome to the end of the vlog. It's like two weeks later or something and uh, James dropped it off at... Rust Busters. Is that his name? Rust Busters. And he powder coated it candy red for us. Is it candy red? Uh, so what's next basically is we're building the E36. Don't show it because if I see things on it that you can't see. We need to do this. I think that's in another video to come. But yeah, we need to do other bits before we can get it in the car. So that's the reason the videos are going to probably slow down a little bit. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Anything to add? James. Bye. Big shout out to the players, guys, who give us a... Oh, it's gone. Give us a packet of potatoes. Uh, we left it sitting right there. As a memory of them. We just moved it the other day and there is now about a thousand midges in our office because they've been eating alive and growing in there. So thanks to the players, guys, for that. This is red now.